Hey, my name is Vaishnav from Venkatesh and welcome back to Handmade by Vaishnav. In this video, you're going to learn several life-changing tips to help you succeed in online college. I promise you, these study skills and tips will not only improve your productivity and performance in your classes, but also help you manage your life. Now, without further ado, let's get on to the tips. The first tip I have is to have a dedicated, if not quiet, study space. Doing online college instead of in-person college can definitely blur the line between college and personal life. This can make it really difficult to find separation between aspects of your life. Having a separate space will allow you to minimize distractions and really focus in on your assignments. Your mind will associate studying in that specific space so you'll be able to focus better on your assignments and you'll be able to relax in other areas of your house like your bedroom, your living room, or any other place that you shouldn't be studying. Now onto the second tip, which is to minimize distractions. When you're in online college, you might find yourself in front of a computer screen for more than a few hours on end, which can definitely lead to distractions. A few ways to minimize distractions include closing your door, putting your phone in another room, putting your phone on do not disturb, deleting social apps, clearing away unnecessary clutter, and choosing a quiet place to study. Which brings me to tip number three, which is have schedule breaks and distraction times. This can kind of go off of what I said before. Minimizing distraction is good, but it's also good to have a separate time just to distract yourself. And this can be achieved with the Pomodoro method. What is the Pomodoro method, you may ask? Pomodoro method consists of 25 minutes of studying followed by five minutes of break. After these four cycles, you take a longer break of one hour. Correction, it's actually 15 to 30 minutes. I adopted this method in early quarantine and it's really helped me get a lot of stuff done in a shorter amount of time. So why don't you try the Pomodoro method today and see what happens? Moving on to tip number four, which is to get a planner. Getting a planner will allow you to keep track of your current assignments and also prepare for future assignments and exams. I personally use a planner and a bullet journal to keep track of all of my assignments and maintain progress in my classes. The next tip is tip number five, which is learn to prioritize what's important. Being in quarantine and doing college from home can make it hard to prioritize what's important and what's not. And that my friend is where the Eisenhower box comes into play. What is the Eisenhower box you may ask? The Eisenhower box is a table organized by urgency and important. It is organized into four categories, which include urgent, not urgent, important, and not important. If it's important and urgent, do it now. If it's not urgent but important, decide when to do it. And if it's urgent but not important, see if you can ask someone else to do it. And if it's not important and not urgent, don't do it. And in the words of our 34th president, what is important is seldom urgent, and what is urgent is seldom important. Moving on to tip number six, which is invest in blue light glasses. With college being online, you might find yourself staring at a screen for a lot of time. And with that comes a lot of blue light shining on your eyeballs. Before I invested in blue light glasses, I would always be faced with either dry eyes or headaches. With blue light glasses, however, I can stare at the screen for a lot longer without getting headaches. But still, please take breaks. Now on to tip number seven, which is give yourself time outside. With all the commitments and assignments that come with being a college student, is being outside really a priority? And the answer should be yes. Going outside will allow you to get fresh air, de-stress, experience the world around you, and get away from the chatter of the internet. I find that I'm actually the most productive when I go outside, which is why I'm asking you to do it too. Next is tip number eight, which is reward yourself. Back when in-person college was a thing, at the end of the day, we always had something to reward ourselves, whether it was going to the dining hall or cafes with our friends, exploring the city around us, going to parties or events, going to the beach. We always had something to look forward to, which kept us going. However, in quarantine, we don't really have that anymore which leads us to find other ways to reward ourselves. Treating yourself to something sweet, taking a long, nice shower, unboxing your favorite clothes, try to implement the practice of rewarding yourself on a regular basis. Despite all the chaos in the world, you manage to find the discipline to continue your education, and that takes a lot of effort and commitment. And you deserve to be rewarded for that. And what better way to honor that than rewarding the small things? On to tip number nine, which is form a study group or have an accountability partner. 
Doing college from home, you may find yourself studying for long hours on end alone instead of having the luxury to study with friends. When you're cooped up in one tiny room for a long time, it can be really easy for things to slip through the cracks and for you to forget things. Forming a study group or having an accountability partner will allow you to be held accountable for the things you do and have someone remind you of upcoming deadlines. Another bonus tip is to start a Discord for your classes, which will allow you to have a central place to ask questions and clarify doubts. Tip number 10, spend time with family and friends. In 2020, I think we all know it's been really hard to stay connected with people, especially in a time when we can't be in the same room together. I know that the situation may depend from person to person, but regardless, it's good to check in on your friends and family and just let them know how you feel. I hope you found these tips for success useful. If you like this video, then you'll definitely like my other college advice videos, which I'll be linking above. So definitely check it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.